Hi buddies, have a good day. Okay, today we will discuss another question on function. Okay, we are given a function fx which is equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. And the function, the question asks you to find f minus 1, which is the inverse function. Okay, f2, which is composite function, and then combination of the inverse and combination of uh, inverse and composite function. A, C, and D. Okay, let us look at question one by one. Okay, we start with question A. Okay, in question A, we are given fx. Okay, fx equal to 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. Okay, first what we do when we want to do an inverse function, we assume y equal to fx. Okay, you can use any, any alphabet, y, a, b, c, d, anything, but don't use x. Because x is already here. So we assume, normally we assume y. Okay, y equal to fx. So when y equal to fx, we can say that when y equal to fx, x equal to f minus 1 of y. Okay, the inverse function of x. Okay, y. Okay, now we look at the question because here we already assume y equal to fx. So we can say y equal to fx is what? 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. Okay. Now, this equation is y in term of x. So, what we do, we find what is x in term of y. This is what we learned in earlier stage. Okay. We just find what is x equal to because x is f minus 1. So, we find what is x equal to. So, what we do, we bring x minus 3 over this side, become y times x minus 3. Okay. And then we multiply y x and then y 3, 3 y. Eh? So y x minus 3 y on your left hand side and 2 x plus 1 on your right hand side. Now you rearrange, bring all the x into your left hand side. Okay, y x remain here. If you don't have x, you bring to your right hand side. Here we got x to x, you will bring your left hand side and then 1 will be remain at your right hand side. So this is become yx minus 2x equal to 3y plus 1. Now from here we can take out our x. So you take out your x, what is left? y minus 2 put inside the bracket. Okay now x equal to 3y plus 1. The y minus 2 the whole thing you bring down as a denominator is become 3y plus 1 over y minus 2. This is x. So well, x is actually f minus 1y so equal to 3y plus 1. So we want to find f minus 1 x. So just convert the, all the y's into x. So f minus 1 x equal to 3x plus 1 over x minus 2. Okay, now we go to question number 2. Sorry, question B. We want to find f 2x. Okay, so still we are back. back Basic fx equal to this one at 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. So f2x is actually f, fx. You cannot do simply square here, it is wrong. This is not f square, this is f2. That means f is mapped two times. Okay, f, fx. So what you can do, fx, we can make it f inside the bracket f. Okay, if fx equal to 2x plus 1, f, f. This is f, okay. We can change x to f, so all the x we change to f, so 2f plus 1 over f minus 3. So, what is f? f equal to x plus 1 over x minus 3. So, this f you change to 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. Also, there's another f here which change to 2x plus 1 over x minus 3. This plus 1 is plus 1, minus 3 is minus 3. Now you have to solve this equation. So what we do, we make the denominator same because we have got x minus 3. So we put x minus 3 over x minus 3 times 1. This one 3 times x minus 3 over x minus 3. So here we have a denominator x minus 3. Here also we have the denominator. So we can conclude 2 times 2 is 4x. 
2 times 1 is 2. Here we have x minus 3 plus x minus 3. Okay, the denominator is x minus 3. And the bottom we have 2x plus 1 minus 3x, 3 times x, and then plus 9. Okay, so now when we see now the, denom the both denominator of the up and down is same. So what we can do, we can just cancel the de denominators. x minus 3 and x minus 3 can be cancelled. Okay, so what we have here, 4x plus 1 is 5x. 2 minus 3 is minus 1. At the bottom we have 2x minus 3x is minus x. I rearrange. 9 plus 1 is 10. So our f2x equal to 5x minus 1 over 10 minus x. Okay, next we go to question C. You want to find? Okay. F minus 1, 2x. So we start with what we have found in a f minus 1 x first. f minus 1 x, you already found in a, which is equal to 3 x plus 1 over x minus 2. Okay. Now we want to find f minus 1, 2. That means f minus 1 will come twice. Okay. So what, what I can do, I can rewrite this one as f minus 1, f minus 1. So first of all, what we do, we have a f minus 1 x here. So this x I change to f minus 1. So when this x change to f minus 1, this x and this x also I change to f minus 1. Okay, now you replace substitute f minus 1 as 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 at here and here. Okay, 3, 3x plus 1 over 2, 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus 1. Okay, this one. And this one is 3x plus 1 over x minus 2 minus 2. So now you do the same thing what you have done in B here. Yeah? So make it the denominator same. Also here also same x minus 2 x minus 2. Okay, then we will get at the top we have 9x plus 3 plus x minus 2 over x minus 2. And at the bottom we have 3x plus 1 minus 2x plus 4 over x minus 2. So x minus 2 and x minus 2 we can cancel. Okay, so what we have here, 9x plus 1, x is 10x, 3 minus 2 is plus 1, and then here we have 3x minus x is x minus 2x, eh? and then plus 5. So this is how we have to find f minus 1, 2x. Okay, don't go and do, do a square, it is not a square, it is f minus 1 comes twice. Okay. Now you look at the fourth question D. Eh? Question D. Now C and D almost same, but this is F minus 1 is inside, comes first. But this one F2 comes. Eh? We uh, find the inverse of F2. Okay. We know that F2 is what? 5x minus 1 over 10 over 10 minus x from B. Question B, eh? we found here. Now we follow the same method. We assume F2x is a y. Then f2 minus 1, y is x. Okay? f2 comes here, it's become a minus 1. Inverse. So when y equal to, because f2x is y, so y equal to f5x minus 1 over 10 minus x. So we bring 10 minus over left hand side, you get y times 10 minus x equal to 5x minus 1. So 10y minus yx, you multiply this and this equal to 5x minus 1. So now rearrange, bring all the x to your right hand side, all the y to your left hand side. I rearrange it, the minus sign I arrange a bit. Okay, 5x, I make it plus yx, okay. And 10y, this 1 brings here plus 1, I just switch the left and right, okay. Now, at right, left hand side, you can take out your x. You got 5 plus y. Right hand side, you got 10y plus 1. And finally, we got x equal to 10y plus 1 over 5 plus y. So, f2 minus 1y is this one. So, f2 minus 1x equal to 10x plus 1 over 5 plus x. So, when you look at question C and D, okay, we get the same answer. Okay, you check back your question C. Also, we got the same answer. So, 
from here we can do a conclusion that f minus 1 to x equal to f2 minus 1 x. Okay, I think that's all for today. I'll see you all on the next question. Bye-bye.